This question says, how do you politely tell your parents to let you parent your kid your way if you have different parenting styles? First, I like that you said politely because as much as, you know, when we become parents, we want to stick our flag in the ground and say, this is my way and your way is antiquated. My kids have grown enough and ha- and for me to be able to see their opinions and their personalities and I always now put myself in my parents shoes and think if one of these kids ever came to me <laughs> and barked at me that their parenting was better than my parenting when I'm the one who raised them I don't know what I would do and so I think that our requests to our own parents about abiding by our parenting style can be brought to them with respect, especially because these are the parents that raised us. And even more, especially because when something is brought to someone that honors their way or just that gives them the respect that they deserve, it is more well received and they will take it in and maybe hold on to it. And we can only hope that when our kids grow up, they would have the same respect for us. I almost see it as like a, as like a planting a seed for the future. That being said, in our family, I think at the beginning it was a little tough because I, when I was a, a new mom, um, you have this perfect little baby and you think about all the things that you are going to do perfectly and it really does make you think about all of the things that when you were a kid were done imperfectly in the way that your parents raised you. Obviously, the kids get a little older. Maybe you haven't gotten to that part yet, but when the kids get a little older, you you understand a lot more about how your parents really didn't have any idea what they were doing, but they were trying as hard as they could. So if you can find that soft spot in your heart where you can relate to your own parents, you really can find a way to let them be grandma and grandpa and also keep your parenting style and keep the structure of it and keep the values that you hold in your family and your core family and that you want to pass on to your kids. It does come with compromise and I don't mean that to say that you're compromising your parenting style, but maybe you're compromising some things in the schedule. Maybe you're compromising, you know, how much sweets you're going to let them have because at grandma and grandpa's it is different. They're going to do things the grandma and grandpa style. My parents do that. My parents love to <laughs> give my kids as many sweets as they possibly can, it feels like. And kids get cavities and, and you know, then they don't sleep or whatever. And so one example of what we do in our family is that, you know, I will tend to let go a little more on like, you're going to feed them sweets. I get it. I know. But my hard and fast rule is that they have to brush their teeth afterward. They have to, have to, have to. Or, you know, this is their bedtime because we're gonna come into the new week and get ready for school and I cannot risk having to do a two day, you know, sleep training do over. I can't have that. So they need to be asleep by this time. But I will say to them, but you know what? However, you need to do that at your house, mom and dad, if, you need, if you're going to let them watch a movie until that time, whatever you are going to do to have them calm down at your house, my house might be different, that's fine as long as they're asleep at this time. Whatever you're going to feed them, that's fine as long as they brush their teeth and, and you know, it's a give and take. And I think that that give and take really is felt by... Not only by our parents, by grandma and grandpa, but by our kids. They really start to have a special bond with grandma and grandpa when there are things that only in grandpa, only grandma and grandpa do with them. Or that there are, you know, those certain things that can only be done at grandma and grandpa's house that maybe (laughs) mom and dad don't let them do. As long as it's safe, as long as the hard and fast rules are still in place, I think it's totally doable and I think it makes for such a great bond with grandma and grandpa. I remember even when I was little that, you know, the really special things that only my grandpa would do that my mom would like roll her eyes at or whatever, but those are still memories that I hold so dear to my heart. So I hope that helps. Thank you for the question.